But Kristen, so you're a massage therapist, obviously, but you do a lot more than massage therapy. Um, some of the services you offer, the biggest difference that I find is there's massage therapy and body work. Um, a lot of people may not understand the difference between massage and body work. They might just think massage means, you know, you go in and you, you undress, you go under a blanket, you listen to some spa music, maybe some oils and other things, you get a rub down, that's it. And I'm pretty sure there's more to it than that. Um, what is, how would you define the difference between a massage and body work? Sure, so massage is the overall term for any hands-on therapy. But most commonly, massage is used as the term that applies to when you're underneath a sheet like you explained, you're getting a full body service, generally for relaxation and maybe a little bit of pain relief. And it's an hour long where you can kind of take a nap, relax, de-stress a little bit. Body work is an entirely different therapy. It is still hands-on but we might be more goal-oriented or specific to a certain region or painful area. It's not, it's relaxing, but it's not the same kind of relaxing as having oil and lotion and me being all over the entire body. It's intended to change range of motion and reduce pain in a specific region. It's a little more active. You're gonna participate a little bit more, whether that's telling me what the pressure level is like or even moving a limb in a certain way to help aid the pain reduction and uh, mobility. Okay, so it, it sounds like, you know, I, I just need some time for myself. I'm gonna get a massage. I'm gonna go get that hour, get away from the world, relax, unwind, de-stress, so on and so forth. If I've got a specific problem, like, man, my shoulder is bothering me, I've got, you know, maybe a couple tight areas that have been a little bit more than, uh, you know, just more than tight than for a couple days, I need some specific work done. That seems to be the main separation. Absolutely. Both of them are medical and therapeutic. We just need to pick the one that reaches your goals for that session. Awesome. Thank you. Uh, now, next step is in the body work realm, what's the difference between, now you're a certified rolfer, and that's a specific type of, I wouldn't even call it therapy, but sort of model or approach to manual therapy and, and movement. Uh, how would you describe the difference between body work and rolfing? Sure. So rolfing is a really wonderful process, and that's what makes it different than body work. Body work is individual sessions that are spot on to a specific pain or goal. Rolfing is a series of sessions that's intended to help increase your body awareness and improve range of motion while decreasing pain. So we go systematically through the body from head to toe, working one joint at a time to improve the mobility in that space and improve your ability to realize how you use that part of your body. How do you stand on your feet? Is your weight all the way on your heels? Is it on your toes? The more you discover about how you use, how you use your body will allow you to use it more efficiently. So rolfing is a series that helps you use your body more efficiently. Awesome. So now with, with body work and rolfing, that sounds kind of like body work may be you know, a repair in the system. We're working on a kink in the chain, so to say. Whereas with rolfing, you're trying to optimize the entire system. That's absolutely correct. Body work is great for somebody who's got a temporary irritation. Maybe you woke up with uh, a crink in your neck and you can't turn your head well and you just need a single service or maybe two or three services. Rolfing is much better for somebody who needs an ongoing series because of chronic pain, limited mobility, more than one area that has had a problem. Awesome. Okay, so now you get an idea of the difference between massage, body work, rolfing, and get an idea if you're going to work with Kristen, what you'd want to choose. Now, Kristen, let's say someone comes in and they, you know, they schedule a massage, but they realize they want something different. What happens? So we, at the beginning of each session, we have a conversation about what it is that you're looking for. What goal is it that you want to achieve? As long as you come in knowing what you want to leave feeling like, how we approach it, we can adapt as necessary. So if you start with a massage and you realize, no, I really would just want work on my shoulders, we can absolutely change on a dime and just do work on your shoulders in the middle of a session. Really the key is communication. If you can communicate with me what your goals are and whether or not we're reaching them, we'll be able to change quickly and, and adapt to that. Wonderful. 
Thank you so much for sharing, Kristen. So now you understand the difference between massage, body work, rolfing, why you'd want one versus another, uh, and also knowing that really it's very adaptable. If you, if you decide that you want one thing but realize you want another, it's something that you can change up because you're working with your therapist, your coach, one-on-one -on -one within that session in order to really mold or customize a solution, so to say, for you to get the, the reach the goal that you're looking for.